Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a really cool marquee tool right inside of Wix Studio. So let's go ahead and get started. To create this marquee tool, what I'm gonna do is actually add like a text element here. Let's just do a heading six for now. What I'm gonna do is write some text. So maybe we can do like free shipping with a space and then I'm gonna copy and paste this a bunch of times. Now I will say I want this text to be or stretch the entire width of the screen. So I'm actually gonna come over to width and set this to 100% width. Let's also make sure that we center it just like that. And now we can continue editing our um, text here. Now you'll see that I did have the text wrap a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is grab this text and I'm going to go down in size until it's a little bit smaller. Um, and now we don't have enough space here. So let's just go down a little bit more and maybe we can add another one of these. Okay, I think that will do for now. And what we're gonna do is grab this text element. We're gonna come over to interactions. We'll head down to loop and we want to add a cross interaction here. So you'll see that now the text is moving. Then what we're gonna do is come down to loop interactions and add. For this, we're gonna want to add a cross animation and it's gonna let you kind of preview it here. One thing I will say is I don't like the direction it's moving and I don't like how fast it's moving. So what we're gonna do is head down to adjust animation and for the direction, let's switch it from right and we'll say from left. And for the duration, let's slow it down by making the duration 10 seconds rather than five. So now if I go ahead and preview this right here, you'll notice that it's moving at a nicer speed and it's moving in the right direction, but you will notice that there is like this giant gap in between, which we don't want. So to fix this gap, what we're gonna do is we're going to grab this element here. We're gonna copy and paste it. Let's go ahead and center it so it's in the same position but we're gonna come down to docking and we're going to dock it to the left and we're gonna set the margins to 100%. And you will notice that that moved it all the way over here. So now when we go ahead and preview it, this is what it's gonna look like. However, we are gonna also want to grab the section itself and we're gonna want to set the overflow content from show to hide. That's gonna prevent any weird unwanted scrolling on the live website. But the cool thing is, is we don't just have to do this on text elements. We can do this with repeaters as well. So here I have a repeater with some logos inside of it. And I basically just added the same interaction to this, as well as this repeater down here with images as well. So it's really cool that this effect can be applied to more than just text elements and give your website a little more motion. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you on the next one.